David Barnson with us this morning. Uh, David, welcome back. Good to see you again. Now, you say the market is not trading on geopolitics. What is it trading on? It's been a very interesting month because there's been plenty of geopolitical news and especially domestic politics. And yet, when all is said and done, is the Nasdaq down 8 percent because of Biden leaving the race or because of the assassination attempt on Trump or all these kind of dramatic political events? Or is the Occam's razor, the simplest explanation, those things were so expensive? That's why they've come down, because many parts of the market have clearly not. You have see this huge rally in Dow type stocks, even as the Nasdaq is still down quite a bit. It's a rotation, not a risk off situation. So the politics really doesn't have anything to do with what we've seen on the market recently. You're dismissing that. I am. And the proof of it's in the bond market, which hasn't moved at all. The commodity market, which hasn't moved at all, and even the dollar, which really hasn't moved much. So why would currency and bonds and commodities stay out of it if it were politics? That's my theory, Stuart. Got it. You've got your dividend picks uh, with you today. Uh, Start with Kenview. You've you've gone with this before. I know you like it. Kenview is is a hive off of uh, some other big company, isn't it? Johnson & Johnson spun off their consumer staples business. It was about a third of J&J's consumer staples. Everybody in America knows Tylenol, uh, baby shampoo, these types of products. And so Kenview has not gotten a lot of love in the market since they started trading as their own stock. Uh, We think it's a fantastic little value, and I owe it to viewers of Varney to continue to mention Kenview. Okay. What's it yield? Uh, Four and a half percent. So you got a nice, juicy yield from a company that is growing earnings. It's just it's, you know, the consumer staple space has been out of favor. That appears to me to be uh, changing right now. Here's another one that you've recommended before. The Simon Property Group, SPG. Well, Simon Property is one of our favorite companies. It's one of our largest holdings. We've owned it for a long time. And this company is just absolutely blowing us away with their performance of getting higher rents. Uh, There's very low vacancy, lowest vacancy they've ever had. One of the dumbest narratives in the history of financial discussion was that nobody was ever going to go to a mall again. There's repurposing that's gone on, bars and restaurants and more experienced things, but they have made a fortune at kind of taking great assets, repurposing. They're paying a 5% yield, and they uh, will give you some appreciation as well, Stuart, which I know you love. 5% yield and some appreciation possibility. Uh, Yeah, I love it all. David Barnson, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.